you see communities like the ones we have in Kotebo, they already have very few elite people, people who are educated, who can understand and run a program. You usually go, you find the LOC1 committee, and uneducated. There are really people who have lived in poverty and they don't have any idea how to get themselves out of there. So when you elect, as an then elect LOC ones, they come from those LOC ones. They are the same category of people. When you begin to meet with them, you realize that they really don't have an idea which way to go. And many of them are not educated, they cannot write. So when you come to the PDCs now, Social Development Committees, but also the circles, and you go to that category of people that they were talking about, like here, they are going to the poor among the poor to form enterprise groups. First of all, we have already failed the program. We are talking about the active poor, and they may not be the poor among the poor. They are active, but they are they, they need some push in terms of mindset, in terms of uh, skills, and then so that they can also access some capital to take off. But their mindset needs to change. And those are not usually the poorest among the poor. So there is a danger that if we target that category of people, that we are going to the poorest of the poor, they are the ones who form enterprise groups. Then out of those are the ones who are going to, to, to run the circle. Then these circles have already failed. So we have corrected that here, that it is not necessarily that we go for the poorest of the poor. We are going for people who work for the stomach only. That means they are working hard, but because of these limitations of mindset, the limitation of skills, and the limitation of capital, they have not been able to get into the cash economy. And PDM is starting to enable them with that. Uh, secondly, you find that on our communities, who are the elite? The elite are primary school teachers. A few secondary school teachers, one or two in a parish uh, secondary school teachers. So if you eliminate those from the leadership of the circles, then you are even going to lack a secretary who can keep proper minutes. So the only elite person on that committee will be the parish chief. And then these other people will not understand what the parish chief is talking about. So I think we need to separate. Uh, who is on the circle management. We need some people who understand. When you go deep into these villages, you don't have uh, very many common persons who are able to write, who are able to understand things, who are able to infuse understanding and good decision making. So we need to make sure that we don't equate circle management to being, to being eligible to borrow. There are people who can serve and run the circle without being able to borrow from it. And I also believe that these circles later, they will grow such that people can borrow more money. But we need to open up the management of the circle so that we have good management and we don't limit it to these poorest among the poor who will not be able to run the circle. They will borrow the money, they don't know how to assess, they evaluate the loan, and now you are leaving it to the parish chief. And there, if the parish chief is the only one who understands, then you are bringing in a lot of issues and corruption. We needed to empower the PDC to be able to run. There has been a phobia about the early children community participating in the PDC as advisors, even as members. I think we need to make sure that the early don't participate with the aim of hijacking and taking the little money, but the early to bring a lot of knowledge that will influence and support the parish in developing and bringing forth good development ideas. But we need to make sure that we need to, come to take away the resources from, but they come to support.